Hello, my name is Mike Avery from Cadence Design Systems, and this video is going to talk about a change in the System Verilog Language Reference Manual from the year 2012 onwards. This is a change that many people don't know about, and it's possible it could have a large impact on your legacy code. So if you just quickly scan the slide, I'd advise you not to turn off if you already know System Verilog assertions. This slide is just showing you what most people's understanding of the current situation is. I'll then go on to show what the changes are, why the changes were made, and what it means to you in practice. So if we wrote something like this, cover property A implies B. This is what many people unfortunately have been doing since the advent of the System Verilog Assertions Language Reference Manual from the year 2005 onwards. It wouldn't be a surprise to view these statements as being true. Count how many times I observe A followed by B. This is what most people think they're doing when they write a property like C11. Now what would also serve the same purpose is this, cover property, the sequence A followed by B. You may think to yourself, well, what's the difference then? does it really matter? From my own personal point of view, I'd recommend you never use implication in covers because it kind of indicates that you don't really understand what you're doing, unfortunately. And hopefully after this video, you'll understand why. So do they mean the same thing? Well, to most people, and indeed most tools, the answer was yes prior to the 2012 LRM. And the reason for that is because the answer was actually ambiguous. The LRM didn't really say one way or the other whether they were equivalent or not. So most people thought the easiest thing to do is treat them as being the same. However, it's crunch time now because the language reference manner has changed. To slightly complicate matters or rather give you an indication of why this situation occurred, you can see from a change in the 2009 LRM, so 2009 LRM, the IEEE 1800 System Verilog Language Reference Manual, this introduced a keyword called sequence. So rather than saying cover property, which was your only choice prior to that, i.e. from the first issue of the System Verilog Language Reference Manual in 2005, this was added. And the reason it was added, as most people who use PSL would know, was because in PSL you cannot say cover property, the syntax in the language does not allow that for a very good reason. And that very good reason is the same one that the system Verilog language reference manual had to change. So when we say cover sequence A followed by B, it's completely obvious what we're doing. We're covering the sequence A followed one cycle later by B. So there's no ambiguity about that statement at all. However, if we try and do this, right, cover sequence, because we've made a syntax error, for example, this will actually yield an error. Okay, so that's a legal syntax. So any version of the language reference manual in which sequence is a recognized keyword, that will be a syntax error to have an implication operator in it. In PSL, people are familiar over all the years that PSL existed that you can never say cover and then go and give a definition of a property. You always had to give the definition of a sequence. However, unfortunately, uh, I guess you could call it an oversight in the first language reference manual for System Verilog. You could say cover property. In fact, that was your only choice. So what does the change mean then? What it means from the 2012 version of the language reference manual, if you say a property as in shown here in C12, this will give you an an indication that the property was covered or it passed or completed whatever the terminology your tool uses if a was followed by b yes that's what we're expecting that's what it always did before however it should always indicate a pass if it follows the lrm and when i say it it means the tool you're using if a never occurs so remember implication what does that mean if we have an implication ignoring the fact that it's a cover for a moment if we say a implies b in this case it's next cycle implication that means we've observed A followed by B in the next cycle, or it means A is not true. That's what implication does. It's an if-then condition. So if A is false, then there is nothing to check, therefore nothing can fail. This is not very useful, knowing that A didn't occur. And it's especially unuseful if you're using a formal tool. So in formal, when you say cover a property or cover a sequence, what you're asking the tool to do is to show you an example of A followed by B. That's what you're saying. Formal tools is no input stimulus as such. The tool just shows you the scenario A followed by B. From the 2012 RM, if the tool followed the language reference manual, then you'll get shown A not occurring, which is not very useful at all. So if you actually wish to observe what you really meant in the first place, you'd have no option but to use cover sequence A followed by B. Then you'll get exactly what you desired. So basically, you're really giving yourself a problem for the future if you write a cover property with implication in it from now onwards. And unfortunately, you have that problem in legacy code if you already have properties like this. So I'd advise you to change any property that has implication in it to hash hash one instead when the need and the time arises. So you may be asking yourself, well, why did this change then? And the reason is that it allows a very useful scenario to be defined as a cover in formal analysis. So it makes no sense in simulation, but it does in formal analysis. And that's the subject of another video called Can I Cover Infinity Using SVA? Thanks for watching and goodbye.